Hello and good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depend on whereabouts in the world you're watching this or even actually when you're watching this. In today's short video, we're going to be answering the question, why is my catalogue item flow created in Flow Designer not triggering? Hello and welcome back. So we're going to look at why a flow that you've created and using it for a catalog item isn't triggering. So I created a video um, probably about a year, maybe a year and a half ago now around how to create a flow for a catalog item, right? And if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. I'll, again, I'll put one of those annoying um, links at the top and I'll put it in the description as well. But off the back of that video, I've had a couple of people that have commented saying, I've done everything as you've instructed. I've created my flow. I've applied it to the item, but it's still not triggering. So we're going to look at one of the main reasons why, and we're going to look at that today. Let's just have a look, quick um, look first. If we go into an item, so this is San Diego, by the way, and this is um, out of the box. So I haven't touched anything here. There is no magic behind the scenes. So we're going to pick this item, and it's already associated to a flow called service catalog item flow, which is one that they've already created. So we've already got that. And we're going to try it. So if we click try it, we're not doing anything fancy with the portal, just um, kind of native interface here. And we're just going to go order now. OK, so we've selected to um, order that item using the flow that's out of the box. As you can see here, I mean, let me just refresh. It doesn't appear like it's triggered this item hasn't been created it hasn't triggered right if we go into the request itself let's look at the item here yeah the items here but the flow hasn't started why so in legacy workflow and i'm going to call it legacy workflow the the old school stuff right not flow there was always a flow that, that sat on the request level. And we can see that here, show flow, right? We're on the request level now. We've created our item, uh, which is the Galaxy um, S7. We're on the request level. Just click show flow. And this is the flow. I'm going to call it a legacy flow. So if you look, there's, um, again, this is standard out of the box. I haven't touched anything. This is asking for a overarching request level approval based on the cost, right? The total cost of what's in that bag, let's call it, what's in the request. So this is saying the price is over $1,000, so it needs approval. So what that's telling me is this here needs to be approved. So at the minute, that is set to requested. If I select that to approve, then we should see our item will kick off, right? And there it has. So when the request is approved, that's when the workflows in the items that are within the request start. OK, so let me just uh, rephrase that in a different way. The request workflow runs first. Once that's completed, only then the, requ uh, the request item workflows run. So that's the main reason why your flow that you've created in Flow Designer isn't going to be triggered. But hang on, I'm hearing you saying, we don't want to go in and select approve, right? How can we how can we change that? So let's go to the item itself. We'll go to the item itself. And if we look at the pricing, we can see here that the price is over a thousand dollars. So if that was under six hundred, perhaps we'll just try it again, just to prove um, the overarching workflow. We'll go try it. Order now. So now we've made the price of this thing less than $1,000, which means the workflow should auto approve, right? So we shouldn't need to manually approve it this time. And here we go. So now we've got the item workflow kicking off. So I would suggest that when, um, again, the people that, that have added the comments, or um, even if you, you've created your flow and your item and it's still not triggering, is check out what's going on at the request level. Check that show workflow. Now this is San Diego, right? So I did my demo or the, the video I was talking about previously going back a few versions now. And I don't recall them being an out of the box um, catalog item flow in flow designer. So they may well have done something here in later versions um, that makes it work on the legacy flow as well. 
What you can do as well, and what I would suggest is probably a good thing to do, is take a look at the service catalog request flow here and create or create and translate this into a flow on the request table. Let's just have a very quick look at that. So we would go, what would that look like? We go to flow, flow designer, and we go to, this is where we have elevator music. We'll go to create a new one, a new flow, and we can call it REQ flow. Okay, I'm just gonna sit, just gonna show you what it would look like. And we go trigger, trigger when a record is created. And what we do here is all, almost mirroring. We'll go for the table, SC request. We're almost mirroring this, right? And we can set to requested. We can do update record. And I'm not going to do it all, um, but we can have the trigger record in there. And we can say, well, what value is it? It's going to be the approval. And we set that to requested. Okay. And then we simply, we simply recreate what we can see here, but we do it in flow, right? So if there's a value on there, we can then go out to approved or um, rejected or automatic approval. So what I would suggest you do is if you're working in a system that is currently using um, the old, again, I'm going to call it legacy flow, the legacy flow to approve at the REQ level, and then flow designer for your other flows in your catalog items. I perhaps think, do you want to make them consistent? Do you want flow designer to be the tool of choice for your flows on your catalog, right? So that means your REQ level and RITM. Or are you okay using the legacy flow for the REQ? and then a mixture of both legacy flow and flow designer for your items. And that might be okay, but I'd suggest that's perhaps a, uh, maybe an architectural policy, a bit of governance on your platform that says that's okay and that's the way you do things. Um, so anyway, I, I just wanted to show you this. Um, again, a couple of people have commented, um, needed some help on that. And I think this is predominantly the reason why those items aren't gonna trigger. So I hope you found that useful and it helps you out. If you have subscribed, a massive thanks to everyone so far. Um, keep putting comments in. It gives me some great ideas for, for new um, content that I'm going to put out. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. You know, give it a like, a thumbs up, share it with your service now buddies and all that good stuff. Until next time, happy coding or um, low coding, perhaps. See you soon.